tell tell me about how when you were uh, doing interviews for your book and i love the idea please just briefly explain why you like the concept of equity versus gender i, I like that sort of uh, mm. analysis uh, tell us about how you were inspired by the former liberian president and her story um uh, y- y- you know i like to see people who start from nothing or start from a negative before they actually get to just zero. Because if you look at uh, the former Liberian president, she had four kids before she was 30, divorced the husband and started studying after that. And if you look at someone who actually is a single parent of four kids and the husband they were you know abuse and what have you it's easy for them to give up on life and think this is what i'm destined to be and to be you know but uh, the power of ambition the power of hard work the power of can do is actually what makes the difference between all of us because if you just go back even when you are young it's not the brightest that made it in life you know some very bright uh, girls and boys that i was with they didn't actually come to much you need that ambition you need that go getter spirit and hard work and then you the sky's the limit nothing and no one can stop you so i love l- using an intersectional lens when i look at human beings because it's quite limited to look at one social identity of a person like when i walk in you judge me because of all the social identities i carry with me i can't change that i am black or african and i do prefer to be called an african i'm a woman and based on how i speak and how i'm dressed you decide okay i'm putting in this social class so it's the combination of all those things that determine how I'm judged. And I have to break through that judgment to prove that, oh, okay, she's a better one of those, which is also bad, but that's how especially corporate, corporate South Africa works. So I use the intersectional lens to say, it's not just black people, it's also gender. And yes, yeah, social class too. And you know what? People living with disabilities and sexual orientation. So you actually look at all these things and say, there's something that uh, Dr. Pumzile Mlambongoga loves saying that you have to solve for the weakest in the food chain to actually make the difference. Because the rest will take care of themselves. But the one that is down there or perceived to be down there, That's the one you should lift.